Today we're gonna do a charging test for the Galaxy S22. We're gonna bring this from 0 to 100% with Samsung's super fast charger which is 25 watts. So just to make sure this is the 25 watt charger, you can see down at the bottom this is the super fast charging which is Samsung's way of saying 25 or 45 watts. The Galaxy S22 supports 25 watts of fast char charging at its max and the S22 Plus and S22 Ultra supports 45 watts. So with a brand new timer, let's start off this experiment. We will compare the results of the Galaxy S22 with the Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. The difference between the battery capacity is 1300 members. So 31 minutes in, we have 24% on the Galaxy S22. Honestly, I expected this phone to be at 50% by the 30 minute mark, but seems like that's not happening. So the Galaxy S22 have a 3700 mAh battery, while the S21 Ultra has a 5000 mAh battery. That means that the battery on the Galaxy S22 is about 24% smaller, and by the 43 minute mark, we're at 48%. That's not the best result I've seen. Looking at the battery capacity, I expect the Galaxy S22 to perform about 20-30% to better in terms of the charging test compared to the S21 Ultra. At 1 hour and 26 minutes, the Galaxy S22 is at 94%. We are almost there but the battery crawls up to 100 after it reached like 70%. At an hour 20, the battery is at 95%. Considering that Chinese phone manufacturers such as OnePlus, Oppo and Xiaomi, they can create phones that can charge from 0 to 100% in an hour or less. This isn't really a good result, but you gotta consider that the Galaxy S22 didn't really heat up during the fast charging uh, test. But I gotta say this is really slow charging considering what the competition has done. So Samsung should maybe include 45 watts on even the Galaxy, the base Galaxy S23. So within one hour and 37 minutes, the phone is at 100%. This is honestly quite a slow result as it only charges about 38 to 29 mAh per minute and Chinese manufacturers can do about 100 in a minute. Now time for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. By the way, I've done a full battery drain test on the Galaxy S22, link is right up there or you can find it at the end of this video. So we are starting off with the Galaxy S21 Ultra and I've been daily driving this phone for about the last half a year and I gotta say this is a really capable phone even in 2022. I'll do a full video about the Galaxy S21 Ultra in 2022 in case you are planning to pick one of these up but within 10 minutes there's about 12% of juice and in 20 minutes we have 23%. So far looking quite promising it's quite comparable to the Galaxy S22. Within 40 minutes we have 46%. I've also done a battery test on the Galaxy S21 Ultra when I got it sometime last year. It's the exact same formula as I did for the Galaxy S22. My battery test is kept consistent across all boards. And this phone, it lasted about, if I'm correct, 2 or 3 hours longer than the S22, the standard S22 this year. Within 1 hour, we have 68%. It's looking quite promising that this is going to end up the same as the Galaxy S22, which sort of questions me why the Galaxy S22 doesn't charge faster than this phone. At an hour and 20 minutes in, our phone is at 89%, 11% shy of uh, a full battery. 8 minutes later, it's at 94%. Right now, the rate is really slow. I don't really know why the battery starts to uh, decrease in the rate of charge after it's reaching 100% because at 1 minute 35 in, it's still at 97%. I think this will fall slightly longer than the Galaxy S22. In June, you can expect me to make a whole video about how battery degrade using my chemistry knowledge and I'll also give you tips on how to preserve your battery health. But after an hour and 37 minutes in, the battery finally hit 100%. This is almost identical to the Galaxy S22. Here are the stamps for the battery percentage of each phone and I don't know about this but can someone explain to me in the comments why the Galaxy S22 with a smaller battery charge the same time as my Galaxy S21 Ultra which has a way bigger battery. Okay, with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.